championship game of the NIT based off of what we saw on uh, Tuesday night's games. It's UAB, North Texas, two Conference USA teams. It's a neutral floor in Las Vegas. UAB is favored by a short two on the neutral floor. Again, this game is Thursday night. They take the day off, and then they will participate in it on Thursday night. Uh, the total at 127 and a half. Discussion from both of you guys. Let's begin with Matty Cox. A thought on this um, meeting for these two Conference USA teams to win the NIT championship. I mean, just crazy. This is the fourth time these teams have played. Um, North Texas swept UAB in the regular season, including a double overtime thriller uh, at home at the Super Pit. And then UAB got the revenge they sought out in the Conference USA tournament. Now for a fourth time, I guess the rubber-rubber match. Um, just look at how the pace of each of those first games played out. The conference tournament was actually a pretty faster, um, a, a quicker tempo type game. 67 possessions, which for North Texas is like an all-time record. Um, Kempom has this as a 63 possession type game. I think you see closer to a true North Texas style of slow, stuck in the mud, um, you know, boxing match, possession by possession. That probably favors North Texas. However, I do think UAB has the shot making to kind of stay with North Texas if they get it into that snail's pace. Jelly Walker, um, Eric Gaines, and they've had guys step up. Ty Brewer especially has been terrific down the stretch. And the other key thing people are honing in on in this handicap is North Texas being without uh, Asumain, their their primary center, rim protector, best rebounder. I think people have been betting too much against North Texas on that injury just because this defense is so sturdy and so sound as a unit. I don't think any one player means the world to that. Um, so all that said, I think I lean toward North Texas. Um, and I lean toward the under uh, yet again, even though I talked about how the over has been playing well at Orleans. The more I looked at this matchup, I do think it plays more toward the under just because of the familiarity with both teams and the fact that they're playing, what, their fifth game um, you know, here in two weeks. So I, I do think some wear and tear starts to show up tonight in the pace. All right. And again, this will be a Thursday night game, just so we clarify. We're handicapping it now because the two mats are not going for to be tomorrow. here for the Thank Thursday yes. show. That's okay. Uh, for Thursday night in the Orleans Arena, 6.30 local time, 9.30 Eastern time, uh, 8.30 in uh, Denton or in Birmingham. I think I covered all the time zones. Mid-major, Matt, thoughts on this with UAB as the short favorite or maybe a thought on the total as well? Uh, I think it's interesting. Ken Palm has this at 137 which is a 10 point difference from what it is now. And it's a, what a 12 point difference from what it opened. Cause it opened at well, 126, 125 ish. Um, you can't pay me to take it over in a North Texas game. I mean, last night, case in point, I mean, it looked like it was an over and then all of a sudden everything just grinded to a halt. And the fact that each team knows each other, um, I, I think that somewhat benefits the defense. It's not like yeah. there's plays you can come up with that all of a sudden North Texas hasn't seen. And then, you know, Jelly's going to shoot a lot of shots and Brewer being better is, I think, going to be a help here. So there's no way you could get me to take the the over in this game. I just never again in a North Texas game. Well, maybe next year when Grandpa <laughs> Kazan leaves and they change their style. But um, it's it's tough because this is, as you just talked about, the fourth meeting between these two, and the meetings were so different at some, in some ways with the double overtime game and then the game where they came back from being down 22 to 2 and everything. So to me, the handicap in this game is just which team do you like better? I would almost take the money line here. I know you've had the discussion with regards to money lines. I think you either take the UAB money line or you take the North Texas money line. Whoever you've had more faith in, whoever you've had more success with during the season, I don't see many edges since this is meeting four. All right, good discussion on this. Again, it's it's worth noting that, uh, as you mentioned, Grant McCaslin is likely going to be the Texas Tech coach. Uh, it appears when this is all said and done after tomorrow night. Uh, Andy Kennedy at his alma mater. Is he looking to jump anywhere else? Probably not. UAB, again, has had a good season. They were in the NCAA tournament last year with the players they have. And again, these two will play it out in Las Vegas on the neutral floor on Thursday night. Again. 